Hey everybody, this is JJ Kennedy from Evil Genius TV. I just wanted to shoot a quick Camtasia video to show you how to create a custom page within your WordPress theme. I take no credit for uh, coming up with the original method for doing this. I'm just shooting a quick video to show you an easier or, or uh, an easier way to, to how to do that. Uh, the original posting I found was from Moses over at um, WPThemesPlugin.com. Uh, he just gives you a text walkthrough step by step. I just thought it'd be a little bit easier to show you with an actual video. So what you're going to want to do is create a custom PHP file. Now underneath uh, this video you'll see the link to that. You can download it in a zip file but when you open up the zip file, let's see here you can just open it up with your favorite editor. I'm going to use Notepad Plus. Um, but what you're going to see is a file here that just includes uh, the PHP bracket. So you're going to want to start with this. So your next step is to go to, okay, you're going to want to go into your WordPress and you're going to want to go to design, then to theme editor, and you're going to want to pull up page template page PHP so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select all of this text hit control C or copy you're gonna go back to your custom PHP file and then you're just going to control V or paste that content in there so now this is going to become your new custom page so in my case I wanted to remove the sidebar because I was using this for a um, sales page for an opt-in page and I didn't want all the extra information in there so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to scroll here through here until you see PHP get sidebar and you're just gonna delete it so uh, also if you wanna remove the footer all you gotta do is go in here and remove footer but I just want to remove the sidebar so what you're gonna do is file save as um, I will save it to my desktop just custom PHP and save it. So the next thing you want to do is open up your favorite FTP program. I use FileZilla. Um, so you're going to take that page and you're going to go into, let's see. Oh, I'm on the wrong site. EvilGeniusTV.com. You're going to want to go into your WP content, go into your themes. I'm using the Vistalicious theme. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just take your custom PHP and drag it over and put it under uh, that themes directory. So when you go back into your WordPress now, you're going to see... Once you go back into your WordPress, you're going to see that you have a new template in there that's called Custom PHP, and that's the one that you'll be referring to for the page. So that's fairly easy. You now have this Custom PHP that will not include the sidebar. So to create a page that uses that, go to Write. I want to create a page, and you can include any information there, and it's going to ask you at the bottom what template you want to use. In this case, you're just going to choose custom template. You're going to save it, and then you're all set. So when you go into your site, you'll see that on my regular site, I have my whole sidebar here that's got all my opt-in crap and categories and recent posts and all that stuff. But when you go to that new page, you're going to see that none of that is included. So again, I just took out the sidebar. I'm sure you can go in and change. I'll probably be at some point going and modify the page with and all this stuff. But that's it. Just wanted to shoot a quick video. Again, I don't take credit for this. Uh, this was created by Moses over at uh, WPThemesPlugin.com. Uh, and I give all the credit to him. I just want to come up with a easier video tutorial to show you how to do it. So that's it. This is JJ Kennedy from Evil Genius TV, and I hope you have a killer day. Bye.